Hey guys, I get a lot of questions about small tarps and small tarp sizes. Now obviously for pack size and weight you would love to use a small tarp, but will it work for you? Now I can give an answer saying, oh it depends on your skill level and on your size and where you're going, uh, whether you're prepared to place your tarp um, above the ground, like floating in the air, or you want it flush to the ground, etc, etc. Now it's good to make a mental picture of what you think you will do with the tarp. So instead of explaining everything, let me show you how I use it in practice, and then you can decide for yourself. Location, location, location. Check it out. Over there in the distance is Foro Hokna which I climbed today. Awesome. Um, and I have a view of the whole valley, uh, which I'll be hiking tomorrow that way. Um, and on this alpine location, I specifically picked the spot so there would be wind because the mosquitoes are uh, relentless here. Um, so I have a windy spot, uh, but for alpine, safety I have opted to do um, the modified A-frame. Um, another factor in this choice is the fact that I only have one stick and as you can see there are no sticks lying around here. I have the DD Superlight S-Star, I have two uh, guy lines, I have uh, one tie-out and um, since I lost one of the tie-outs I'm going to use one of my shoelaces. On the four corners of my tarp, I've already pre-attached um, four tie-outs. My stakes, three light and strong Y packs, my favorite, and um, three packs that are aluminum, um, and they're simple and very light. The undergrowth is okay, the stick marks the location of a roughly Papa Hiker shaped rectangular on the floor and um, I'll be building the cave setup with the entrance facing the river. I still only have one stick and as you can see I'm, um, I'm still in the birch zone, there's no sticks lying around here. Seven minutes, not a bad time, including finding a handy rock because I'm, I was missing one stake. Um, tension distribution, that's key with the cave.
So I kind of thought the double pole Holden would do poorly in these conditions. But lo and behold, it stands like a house.